In this video, we are going to look at how to read the Venia calipers using the question that came in 2012 uh, physics paper 2, question 1. All right, so the question reads, figure 1.1 1 .1 below shows part of a Venia caliper used to measure a physical quantity. So this is a Venia caliper. The first question says, what is the reading shown above in the Venia caliper? All right, so what you have to know is that a venia caliper is made up of two scales. You have this scale, the one that is in centimeters. This scale is called the main scale. So this is the main, the main scale. And then you have this scale here. Sometimes they may swap. The main scale may be down and then the, the, this scale can be up. So but this scale here, that is down here, is in millimeters and this scale is called the venia venia scale so in abbreviation you can say vs and then the main scale abbreviation you can say ms meaning main scale so this instrument the least measurement okay least count the least measurement it can measure is 0 0.1 millimeters. So this venia caliper, the least measurement it can measure is 0 0.1 millimeters. So that depends with uh, the main scale of the venia caliper. If the main scale of the venia caliper is in millimeters, it means you are going to use this one. But if the main scale of the venia caliper like this one here is in centimeters, it means that the least measurement that this venia caliper can measure is 0 0.01 centimeters. So because our main scale is in centimeters, it means we are going to use this. With that information, now the question is, how do you read the venia caliper? All right, so, Venia caliper, you are going to say reading is equal to main scale, the main scale, okay? Main scale reading plus open bracket, the venia scale reading, venia scale reading times the least count, the least count, the smallest measurement that this caliper can measure. So, least count, the smallest measurement. So please keep this formula in mind. It is very useful. Okay? So now, let's take the measurements from the main scale so that we replace them there. The main scale reading, so the main scale is this one. So, from one number or from one measurement to another, there are how many graduations? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so first of all, you need to know what each of the smaller graduation is worth of. So we are going to say 5 minus 4, which is 1. And then 1 divided by the number of graduations, which is 10, you are going to have 0 0.1. So meaning each of these smaller graduation is 0 0.1. So that you have 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.2. 4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, then 5. All right. So with that in mind, take note of where the venia scale is. All right. So this venia scale here, the point at where it's starting here, tells you that you are not supposed to go over this scale. Okay. So our main scale reading will read this mark here, not the one that is after this scale but you will get this mark here all right so if this is uh, 4 it means this will be 3.9 3.8 then this one is 3.7 okay so meaning the main scale reading is 3.7 3.7 so meaning here we're going to replace a 3.7 plus all right now you come to the venia scale reading for you to take the measurements of the venia scale reading, you need to look for where the measurement of the main scale and the venia scale are coinciding or 
where they are in line with each other. So you can say you can see that here it's not in line, here it's not in line, but here you can see that this reading of the vernier scale is coinciding or is in line with it, the reading of the main scale. So you are going to take this measurement. So these are in millimeters. So what you are going to say, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is 3. Vernier scale reading is 3 millimeters. Then times the least count, the smallest measurement that this vernier caliper can measure, uh, because the main scale is in centimeters, we are going to use this one here. We are going to use uh, 0 0.01 centimeters. So, 0 0.01. Alright, so 3, here you are going to have 3.7 plus 3 times 0 0.01 is 0. 03 okay get your calculator because this is physics and calculators are allowed get your calculator and say 3.7 plus 0 0.03 and this gives 3.73 so the reading here is 3.73 centimeters all right if you're with me up to this point it means you're enjoying what i'm doing Please consider to subscribe, like, hit the, uh, hit the like button, comment, and share. The second part says, what physical quantity does the vernier caliper measure? So the physical quantity that the vernier caliper measures is uh, the distance, okay? It measures distance, or you can say length. But in the exam, you need to mention one of these. Okay, because distance and length are just the same. So you just mention one of these. But B says, state two precautions that must be taken when taking measurements using a micrometer screw gauge. All right, so the first precaution that you are supposed to take as you want to read the micrometer screw gauge is, so number one, you need to clean the instrument, clean the micrometer, okay? micrometer screw gauge so you clean the micrometer screw gauge in other words you have to make sure that the micrometer is clean remove all the oils uh, any anything that is not that may interfere with your readings number two you need to make sure that it's zeroed so zero the instrument the instrument zero the micrometer all right by writing this, you'd have gotten your two mark. Thank you very much once more for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit a like button, comment and share. And also, thank you very much for our returning viewers, our returning subscribers. Uh, please spread the news that there is a channel that teaches physics and maths. If you are writing exam this year, this is the right channel for you to be. See you in the next video where we're going to be looking at how to read the micrometer screw gauge. Goodbye.